Hey everybody, Gamer Grams here. We're digging back into our Mafia 3 series where we're playing the game and giving out tips for beginners as we go. The YouTube gods have spoken, so let's jump back into the bayou balls deep. Are you listening? Damn. We're gonna be putting on some new clothes here. I'm gonna go kicking it old school looking like a gangster from the good old days. We are on our way to go meet up with Donovan to get some more information about the enemies. But first, we're going to stock up and grab some ammo here. It's always a good idea to pick up ammo and shit and anything else you see. Especially earlier in the game when your funds are extremely limited because everything costs a pretty penny at the arms dealer. Almost feel bad stealing a vehicle from somebody this poor. <laughs> Oh, God. And they're moving, too, it looks like. Oh, we're just horrible people. But we got a mission to do. All right, so it's obviously a good idea to pick up any health kits or armor suits you see lying around this early in the game because your funds are extremely limited and it's expensive to buy shit at the arms dealer. So anytime you see something like that, definitely do yourself a favor and pick it up. God, we look dashing, don't we? <laughs> All right, so... Here we are, we're gonna sit down and wait for Donovan and see what we got in store next. Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But if we managed to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. <laughs> All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. When you find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. <laughs> I definitely love me John Donovan, man. That guy is probably honestly my favorite character in this whole game. Okay, so that's the gist of the wiring tapping rackets there. Like I said, I've already played through this game a bunch, so I'm not really worried about it. You can read the tutorial for yourself. Oop, shit. See? Look at me. Epic fail. Okay, so here we are. We're going to install the wire tap. Okay, so installing that wiretap, essentially what it does, it allows you to have a better idea of what's going on around you. So now, like, for instance, we know that, okay, there's health kits over here, there's armor and shit over here. So it's really good to install them when you can. Uh, you want to pay attention as you're driving and, and moving about this city, looking for those little green icons. Uh, I'll show you when we come across one here in the near, near future. But in the meantime... Let's get the hell over and interrogate some of Charlie's pushers, shall we? First off, I think we need a better car, though. I can't deal with that. All right. A witness is calling the police, so we want to get out of here as quickly as we can. Good thing we're in the ghetto, and it takes them a while to get there. All right, so it has been a while. I've been playing a lot of Far Cry 5. I hope I'm not going to do too terrible over here. As you can see, we're getting closer to our objective, so we're going to start doing it a little bit quieter. Alright, so I think I'm gonna run around and come on the backside, and then we're gonna cha have to chase that informant, I think, if I remember this. Pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Because they tried so hard to catch us, right? Oh, we're not gonna settle for this. We're not gonna settle for that. Alright, so we gotta catch up with this guy. We're gonna holster our gun so pe people don't rat us out. How about I drive? <laughs> I can't get over how cool we look. Okay, so basically, 
Yeah, we gotta drive like a madman. So drifting, going fast, almost hitting oncoming cars are all good things you want to do. So basically, just have a little fun, in other words. <laughs> As you can see, it's been a while since I've done this. There's a bucket of fucking up my car! You don't intimidate me! Tell me what I need to know. Now you're really pissing me off! <laughs> You don't intimidate me. So driving on the other side of the road is also a good suggestion. But you gotta oh, keep it going. Care, you stupid son bitch. I don't need this shit. Take it. Alright, so we're gonna just intimidate them the good old fashioned way. What's four finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. Now, usually unless they piss me off, I always recruit them. The cops are on their way, so let's rock and roll. He already told us he doesn't need his vehicle anyway, right? Actually, I was going to stop for that, but thinking better of it now. Let's just get out of here. We're going to go running into the bayou. <laughs> Real police incoming. Okay. All right. Oh, that wasn't nice. And I think I pooched our tire. Time to get out of here. I try not to kill cops, but if they piss me off enough, then I'll just kill them and try and swim away. Responding units. Visual contact with suspect okay. lost. Okay, so as you heard there, we're, they can't see us anymore. So we're just going to kind of keep headed the way we're headed and try and get out of the net that the police have dragged around us. This looks cool. An airport? Let's go in here. Oh shit, there's cops in here? What the hell is there cops doing in an abandoned airport? Well, I tried to be nice. This is gonna get interesting real quick, I think. What? You can't run through the bushes? Ah! <laughs> Fuck me. This is a lot harder on hard difficulty, let me tell you. I'm so used to this game being a cakewalk. Like, even when we were intimidating that guy back there, I've never failed an intimidation by driving crazy, but I had to resort to freaking putting a knife to his throat. Not that I have a problem with that, mind you. I'm trying not to go into the water too much because there's gators all over the place in this game. It is based loosely on New Orleans, or New Bordeaux, as they call it. Visual contact with suspect lost. Okay, so we've broken the contact again, but as you can see, they are close. Oh, nice, we're getting near the end of their little fucking search patrol. Come on! Alright, now that we're out of their bubble, we're just gonna go stealth, and, and then we can get back to fucking up Charlie's heroin ring. Hope you're enjoying the video. If you want to support what we're about at Gamer Grants, remember, sharing is caring. Like the video, share it, or just leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your two pennies worth. Thanks for watching my video. If you made it this far, you're definitely a sucker for punishment. Here's a couple videos you might be interested in. But if you check in the description, I have links to the channels that I find enjoyable. I mean, if you've lasted this long, there's a good chance that you will too. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Videos up every week.